Hello guys, what's up? I hope you're all doing great. This is me, Carbon again, and a new video about the how to become the good control room operator. I know maybe some of you is working in the same position, but several of you right now around the oil and gas industry, maybe the fresh graduated, and sometimes you searching and looking for the new chance about the oil and gas industry. Both these chances, and sometimes the control room operators available that the company share that we need the control room operator but how you can be a good and a best person in this section for all person that totally are talking about it not just for example this person that they have experience in the field and same time in the control room not for all of you that you have for example idea about oil and gas industry doesn't matter okay guys you can be a good and best person in the control room operator i know you don't have experience still now you are the fresh graduated it's okay no problem and some of you that like, like i said you have experience but you wanted to be a control room operator guys for that reason several times i make a video about the aspen high simulation that is we have a one point that is so special we can call the highest dynamic model but totally in courtesan i want to say for example how you can be a good control room operator from where from this course that available about that control room operator okay in this video i want to show you you know in the oil and gas industry if you want to do controlling the plan should be you have a control room in this control room, we have several points and several computers and several person that stay there to controlling the plant correctly but in this video, I want to show you, we have a special control valve that is available in the planet to control in some point is, they are calling it the cascade controller, okay? It's normally, we can call the control valve, but the action is different. Look, I prepared, for example, a special tower that we have a special fit, and we send it to the tower by the special number of terrain that are available there, and we have a condensate at the top of the tower, and also, we have a special shell to with exchanger that we can call thermal siphon shell to with exchanger for what to the heating up in the bottom of the tower and also the condensate for condensing this gas and vapor that is coming out from the top of the tower. Look, I want to tell you, look, we prepared everything is that's like a, a real situation that's all the time I see in my for example location in my fill in my refineries okay for that reason i want to transfer my information experience and idea with you i wanted to share my experience with you guys look in any point that you want in the refinery especially the tower you have to control in the temperature in the bottom temperature it's also in the top temperature i want to focus in the bottom of the tower temperature okay how we can control in the bottom tower temperature Look, this is a bottom liquid product. If you know, we have to have a what? A special type of the heater, of the heating source to heating up in the bottom of the tower, okay? And sending back a little bit to the tower to make a what? To make a heating again in the bottom of the tower. Why? Because when you send the feed into the tower, some of the light gases, okay, is coming down by any abnormality condition okay yeah that's mean any emergency case sometimes some light hydrocarbon is coming down for that reason we need to heating up again to releasing any light hydrocarbon that's coming down by what by this process that we can call for example heating and sometimes we have a reboiler sometimes we have a thermal siphon type to see type reboilers okay no problem sometimes we have a heat exchanger and sometimes we have a heater Okay, but in here we have a shell to be the exchanger. In the tube, we have a what? We have a bottom of the tower. In the shell, we have a steam. We have a special steam by the special characteristics. Okay, that you want. This steam is hot. We wanted to what? We wanted to transfer in this hot from the steam to what? To the reboiler tower to increase in the temperature of the reboiler of the tower or to maintain the same temperature that we want and that desirable for what? For process separation of the what all the feed that we have. Okay, look, in here we have a special heat exchanger. 
the reboiling to reboil as mean the van will start to go to the reboiler to heat it up and we send to a special for example the vessel sometimes in these cases is happen we have a vessel and sometimes we have a two line the valve so it's okay it doesn't matter i want to share my idea with you and okay when it's heating up a little bit okay most of them for example become the liquid because the one of the tower is normally is liquid but when you're heating up a little bit of them for example 25 percent okay no problem it became the vapor and back to where to the the bottom of the tower to what to heating in the bottom of the tower to remain the temperature that you want to the desirable temperature that is selected for the bottom of the tower why because we wanted to separate all the light hydrocarbon that's coming from the feet that's all the time is go to the up of the, the top of the tower to not coming down with the bottom of the tower okay by what why i want to control what the boil up point this line that's coming from the separator is back to where to the tower i want to control it especially in this temperature look i want to control in this line this back we have it all operation condition the temperature we have a 106.3 okay how we can remain in this temperature constantly okay during the running you know the running of the plant is 24 hours not just for example one second one minute one hour two hour this is for 24 hour per day and weekly and monthly how we can control in this stuff by what i want to control this temperature i have a special controller that i call temperature indicator controller that's mean i wanted to control in the temperature by what by this steam that is coming from the utility okay it has a high good heating okay high good temperature i want to go to go the, through the steam to the shallow tube exchanger to what to transfer the heat between the steam to what to the bottom of the tower that's mean the reboiler line okay look i want to run the plant that, like a real situation okay i want to run the plant okay if you see in here the same charts that normally we created the operator created in the control room to what to focus on the plant is like how i can say for all the time that you want to for example that focusing on the plant how your plant is running how your plant is going on okay look in here we have a several one let me show you the black one is the top condenser level we have a top condenser level. okay leave it the second one the red one we have a what we have the level in what in the separating the bottom of the tower the green one we have a what we have a temperature which temperature the boil up temperature look if the temperature is let me go to for example this tic we can call the master control valve and this controller that's connected with the steam line we have to select the slave controller that means which one is the best is tic which one is for example is controlling is fic that means both of them connected together but the fic is receiving the order from where from the tic okay that's why we wanted to control the temperature i go i can go to either of the and the controller okay again you can go to for example the parameter section if you see you have a set point we have a 106.5.3 that's 106.3 that's mean that that's mean the temperature 106.3 the process variable is 106.3 that's means so perfect now have any difference between the process variable and the set point what is the set point this temperature that we want and what about the pv process variable this temperature is really is passed through this pipe is back to where to the tower look right now for example we take the sample in the bottom of the tower but let's say the composition is not good some light hydrocarbon is coming down from the bottom of the tower at that time that supervises the ask you please increase the set point in the bottom of the tower temperature from what from 106.3 to 106.5 okay and look the action of what of the process this we have to look in the temperature is increased at night okay this is connecting with what with the fic this fic connecting with the flow of the steam that is going to where to the shell to heat exchanger from a thermal siphon or the heat exchanger okay for example we need the time to take an action okay because i rearranged my simulation let's see right now we have a 106.5 this is our desirable temperature but i still know the pv 
is 106.3 that means it's not reached our set point we have to wait a little bit okay to see if the temperature is changed or not okay guys okay great let me see that the temperature is available in here the chart is running without any problem okay let me see if i go to here a little bit increasing what look the level of the separator we have a 53 i increase to 55 look the steep chart in here okay i change it to 55 look then here 50.5 goes to the 50.55 okay point 50.56 point it is increasing let me see the temperature look guys all the temperature is reached 106.5 that means increase increase it to this point that we want let back to the trc look guys the set point is 100 seconds the pv is 106.6 that means it's so near but it needed time to re rearrange itself okay itself to what to match the set point what with the process variable okay this action by what by for example with speed show for example all the time they call the for example houses we can do guys this is the real situation that's all the time that happened this situation in the plant if you want to for example be a special be a good be a best control operator you can join my courses okay you can participate in my course believe me i can promise you to be a best person in your section okay guys i hope this video has helped you to more understand it about what about my courses this the plant is running so smoothly without any problem okay and we can see the our steep chart and sometimes we call call trend is okay no have any variation is too much oscillation from where from the charts is okay for that reason the old plant is so smooth we can increase it from what from 106.3 to 106.5 but still now 106.6 it's need the time to re rearrange itself okay to back to where to 106 point how much point five if you have a time for example see the flow of water flow of mass flow of water of the steam before is low but right now it's increased why because we need a more flow to pass through the heat exchanger because this steam is it has a good temperature the temperature of the steam 200 centigrade but the temperature that we want in here in the bottom top is how much 104 104.1 centigrade for that reason we need to for example if you increase the temperature of the boil up back to the tower you have to send the more steam flow to where through path to where to the heat exchanger okay by this process you can increase the temperature of the boil up line is, is back to where to the tower okay guys i hope this below is clear and help you to be good to understand the process and if you wanted to share if you want to participate in my course, you can call me and contact me. So, the next video. Have a good time. See ya. Bye.